today's video, we are taking an item that you might not have known is flammable and showing just what can be done with it. Guys, we've got some steel wool here. A decent pile of it, in fact. Steel wool is an interesting stuff, usually used as an abrasive. You can use it just like sandpaper, but the whole thing is made of the abrasive, so it doesn't wear out one side and then you gotta get new stuff. It's just, as long as you still have steel wool, you still have abrasive. It's made from super fine threads of steel, all meshed together into sort of, well, wool. Yeah. That's the name. And what a lot of people might not know is, it's flammable. That's right. This is metal, it's steel, but it is still flammable. Now, when something burns, it's combining with oxygen. The most common way for steel to combine with oxygen is rusting, which I guess in a sense is burning. It's just really, really slow. slow. <laughs> However, because steel wool is so fine, it has a lot of exposed sides. Like it, every single bit of it is just exposed to the air about as much as is possible. And because of that, you can start off a chain reaction that actually makes the steel combine with oxygen much, much faster. Here's the basic idea. We've got a lot of steel wool and we want to see what it takes to light it on fire and what happens when we do. I'm going to be honest, it's really cool that this lights on fire. However, one of the funnest ways to actually get it to ignite doesn't involve fire at all. I have here a 9 volt battery. And by using this 9-volt battery, we can actually touch to the steel since it's all interwoven and touching itself, it's going to complete the circuit. And it's so thin that it can't take the amount of juice coming out of this battery and can just ignite by touching it. Blowing on it adds even more oxygen than it already has flowing around it. And so it combines with that oxygen even quicker and just heats up faster. It just travels beautifully and it's really cool to see how the heat travels through the tiny little fiber wires and just spread to each other. Anytime a little burning ember crosses another wire, that one catches too, and so you just have this very organic looking growth. We don't just have that one little bit, we have a lot of steel wool, so we've got a lot of things we wanna try out with this. First, let's do some small scale tests. I've always heard that you need to use really fine grade steel wool. Steel wool comes in lots of different thicknesses of the individual wires. It's kind of like the grit of sandpaper. So we've got some fairly thick steel wool and we've got the super fine steel wool. We want to see if there's a difference. So this is our coarsest that we've got, and that's our finest. Yeah, it's not the coarsest that they make. No, it does come the, coarser, but... Just what we have today. Yeah. I think you can probably see the difference there. This is, I mean, it's still very thin, but each individual strand is just so much thicker. All right, so our coarse grit steel wool, 9 volt battery. Just yep. It barely. creates the spark and the ember just a little, but it just doesn't... I don't think it's enough heat it just for doesn't this. travel. I have zero, 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 <laughs> which means that at some point they got to zero and then they're like, wait, we can go finer, and they just started adding more zeros onto it. More zeros. I have two. So grade two and grade quadruple aught, I think is how they call it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely finer. So once again, battery, I'm just gonna touch it to it, and last time that was all it took. And then I might blow on it a little to add some air, but it won't need it. Look at that, like it's nothing. One more test that we wanna do is to see what happens if we try and light it without fluffing it up at all. So this is about as condensed as it comes. We're gonna see if this burns well too, or if the lack of oxygen really slows down the reaction. Burn for a little bit. And there it goes. And you can actually see just a little bit of a dark spot where it's oxidized. So we've got the rest of it and then there's this darker gray color right here. It's almost got a tint of blue to it. So this time I'm gonna try and light it again, and then I'm gonna blow on it and see if I can sort of force it to work by adding that much more oxygen. All right, I'm curious, what if you fluff up just one little spot and have it try? Never mind! <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, that's gorgeous. That looks really cool. It does. I'm and getting uh, lightheaded. There you so go. I'm gonna bring in a backup. Let's 
So in person, it's actually a little too bright to look at. Yep, can't see. All right, so our number two steel wool is not lighting with our nine volt battery. We didn't think it would. However, I'm not giving up on it yet. So I'm actually gonna go toss this in the fire that we've got going outside because it's cold. Let's see if we can just get it to light at all. We've got this as fluffed up as possible and just in case we need to cheat a little bit because I really want to see if we can get this to light. It works! <laughs> not great and definitely not as well as the, uh, as the finer steel wool, but that burned right up. Let's go see what Nate's working on. All right, here I've got, I'm gonna call this my steel wool sword. And airflow, as you've seen, increases how quickly it burns. So I'm gonna try and touch this in several spots to get it ignited all over. And then I'm just gonna start swinging it around and try and get some cool sparks out of it. And hopefully none of them land on and hurt me. Okay, I'm ready. Callie? Yep. Ah, fire sword! Oh, well, that didn't last amazingly long. All right, so for this one, we have got a ball of steel wool on the end of a copper cable. This is what a lot of people do for their long exposure uh, videos and pictures. They look gorgeous. I want to try it myself. With this blob of steel wool, we've got one more thing we want to try. Uh, this is methanol, and you've probably seen us do this trick a little bit before, but it's got some boric acid mixed in, which means it should burn green. So we're going to pour that all over this, and uh, we're going to hopefully get something that's burning green and has sparks running through it. I bet it looks pretty neat. Yeah! That looks evil. All right, guys, we now have a small <laughs> mountain of fluffed up steel wool. Large mountain. Well, large for steel wool mountains. Nate's gonna light this up. He's gonna go around in a circle, try and get the bottom lit up. I will be providing oxygen. Now, as you saw, it takes a lot to actually set it on fire and not just make it spark, so I feel safe standing where I'm at. If anything goes wrong, we have our fire extinguishers. Worst case scenario, we leave the dome. That's just gorgeous. Yeah, maybe that will work better. Oh, that's hot. Wow, it's gone red hot. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of heat coming off of this too. Holy cow. Yeah! That's where all of our heat was.
Guys, something exciting is coming very soon in this package. If you're not already on the list, then you might never get it. Click the link in the description below so you don't lose your chance. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. This box up here at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box is going to show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. If you hit this bomb here in the middle, you'll be subscribed to our channel. That way you're never going to miss out on a cool video. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get the notification about it. And we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.